I were going to give you three pieces of advice on um, things you need to do right off the bat to get started if you're looking to expand your church, number one, I tell you, give yourself a long runway. Take plenty of time uh, to really uh, understand where you're going, what the church is about. And then uh, more importantly than anything else probably is to make sure that financially that you're ready to do the project. And that means a couple of things. Number one, it means your debt to income ratio is not out of proportion. Usually what I like to see is a church that's around 30 to 40% maximum of debt compared to their income per year. Um, you want to have about $200,000 in the bank ready to go specifically for building purposes. And the reason that's important is before you engage with a bank and before you're ready uh, to sign on the dotted line for the loan, you're going to need some cash to get things going with uh, master planning and uh, engaging uh, a design build firm and things of that nature. Uh, the second thing that I tell you to do is educate yourself, educate yourself, educate yourself. Um, and the reason that's important is because every ounce of education you get in this process is going to sound, save you a pound in pennies and dollars and thousands of dollars. So educate yourself. How do you do that? Um, my blog's a good place to start with that. We've uh, Our CEO has written a book called Before You Build, which we'll send you a complimentary copy of that if you'd like. Uh, that's just two ways. Get out on the internet, start looking around, familiarize yourself with uh, with the different delivery methods for, for building a church. Understand the process that you have to go through uh, with design and with an architect and what those stages are. Get really comfortable with the length of time that's going to take. And, uh, and then the last thing I would say is as you're moving into this process and you begin to hire professionals, make sure you're taking time to get to know them. Uh, one of the things that I always tell churches is if you wouldn't hire me to be on your staff, don't hire me to build your church. And to understand and know me well enough to, uh, to be able to determine whether you hire me to be on your staff, you got to get to know me. And that's more than a phone call. It's more than an interview with a bunch of people. We've got to sit down and make sure that there's a heart connection. 